Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to use one of my favorite tools. I don't know what I would do without this tool. Um, this one came in a three pack of erasers, but what we're gonna be working with is the kneaded eraser. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as a gummy eraser also. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this package here and take mine out. Um, the kneaded eraser is one of the most misunderstood tools because I always see that students have had teachers who have made them buy the kneaded eraser but never showed them how to use it. Um, it's not gonna be used the way that you use a regular eraser. So if you think of how you normally use a regular eraser, you're gonna drag the eraser with a lot of pressure across something in order to erase. Um, instead, with the kneaded eraser, it starts out like this tiny little square here that you can see your rectangle. And if you try to use it like a regular eraser by dragging it, it's gonna not work very well and it's gonna make your eraser seem a little bit weird because what happens is it turns black. Instead, it's called a kneaded eraser because you actually really need to knead it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tear it up. It's almost like a putty. Um, moms, be aware that this will stick to your children's hair, to the dog's hair, to the cat's hair, to the carpeting. You don't wanna keep this around um, someplace where you're not gonna be able to put it away and um, keep it out of harm's way. So you're gonna mix it up. And the thing that's the most important is that you really wanna stretch it out to mix it up. You don't wanna compress it. When you compress it, you're not actually mixing it. You're just sort of pressing it like this. It doesn't do much for it. Instead, you wanna pull it between your two hands and stretch it out. So after mixing up your kneaded eraser, the first thing that you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to dab instead of dragging it. And you can see right there that it actually takes off some of the value, it lifts it right off. So you wanna press it down and lift it up. Next thing, you're actually gonna to wanna to knead that again because if you don't mix it up, you can dab some of that onto the next spot where you're <clears throat> trying to erase and that's gonna actually muddy the spot that you're trying to erase. So another technique that you can use then, I call the roll. And this is where you get enough of your kneaded eraser that you can kind of fold it between two hands and you get a smooth spot like that. And then you can lay that down in a roll and press and lift. And you can see that that just takes off a lot of the value. So if you got a value too dark, that's gonna take off a whole area. You can see again that the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna knead that up because you have to get a clean, fresh spot. Lastly, another way, well, another way that you can use it is what I call making a point. So you can see that I sort of formed a small piece of the kneaded eraser into a point, and I can dab that onto the page and lift some value off. And I usually only dab it once or twice, maybe three or four times, and then I'm gonna pull that <coughs> up again and knead that in because I don't wanna transfer any value to a new spot. You can also shape your kneaded eraser into any shape. So you can see that I had a line there that I just pulled off. So you can transform it into any shape and lift anything off that you want to. Um, another way that you can use it is that you can use it to remove smudges on your page. And you can see that this is not erasing the numbers, the work that I did in lines. It's not gonna be very effective for erasing your lines, but it's great for erasing your smudges. You just wanna make sure that you hold the page and work from the center out of the page. You don't want to work from the edge of the page in because you'll be likely to crumple your page. And then this is the last way you can use it. You can actually erase yourself. So if you drag your hand over your page by accident and get some value on your hand, graphite on your hand, you can erase yourself and that way you don't have to spend all your time getting up and washing your hands. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.